Ben knows all about the bad effects of drugs, but he doesn't know how to defend himself against the various techniques used to get you to drink and smoke. Cosmo comes to his aid with his magic fate elevator and takes Ben to the land of illusion, where booze and pot use all sorts of tricks to try to fool Ben into doing drugs. Thanks to his magic glasses, Ben is able to see through all the illusions and keep out of trouble. But then booze and pot stick him down in a pool of tar and try to deceive him with a series of other illusions. Finally, Ben is bombarded with laser beams and once again manages to save himself. He returns to reality, where he shares his new perceptions about drugs with the gang. Although Ben has the correct knowledge and perceptions, he still has to acquire the right self-image and life skills. Uh-uh. You're not going anywhere. There's no room for you. The court's all full. What? We're the only ones here. There's still no room for you. Can't you read? No nerds. No wits. And no geeks. So you two better just get on out of here. Oh, come on, you guys. Don't be like hey, that. Hey, shut up, you traitor. Cop out. Another Mr. No Guts. Yeah. We got two chickens now. You should start an egg farm. Listen, if you want to use this court, you got to pay the price. You got to show you have what it takes. You got to take a swig on this. You either drink or sink. 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 One sip will hurt us. I told you what this stuff does to you. All the tricks that people use. Yeah, you know it all, don't you? You can see right through everything, can't you? Well, that doesn't mean nothing. You still don't have any guts. Come on, Ben. Take some. Don't let me down. It's the bell. What bell? What's he talking about? I didn't hear no bell. Where'd he go this time? What can I do? I know about drugs. And I can see what they're trying to do to me. But they just keep pushing. What can I do? It's just, it's just no good. I am a loser. Uh, no, 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 no. Never, 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 never put yourself down. You can be anything you want to be. You can do anything you want to do. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Take the elevator up and close the gate. This is the ride that will decide your fate. Take the elevator up. It will all make sense. This is the time to build your confidence. Hey, get in the elevator. Do what you're doing later. Don't need to hesitate. It's all right. I know that you've been falling. Your destiny is calling. You don't know what to do until you get in and ride.
Not Sudi? That's right. Do I have to go through that now? Yes, you do. Why? Because it's there. How? Just believe in you and take a stand. You have the knowledge and the vision. The only thing left is the chain of command. What's this for? Courage, Ben. Courage to walk through the drug city. that you said. I'm gonna give it everything I've got. <laughs> Push! Push! Not stand and stand. <laughs> You're just a little weakling. <laughs> okay. The greatest strength of all is the strength of will. Push! Push! Congratulations, honey. You've won. You really know how to stand up under pressure. Pressure? You could have killed me. Oh, relax. You know, it's just a little joke. You mustn't let a little joke get you down. But how about a gag? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now you're done for. Stop it! Hey, 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 hey. 
Ben knows all about drugs and can see through the tricks people use to get you to drink and smoke. But he doesn't have the self-confidence to say no to drugs once and for all. Come on, Ben. Take some. Don't let me down. Cosmo's magic fate elevator takes Ben to Drug City, where booze and pot and other drugs really put the pressure on him. Thanks to his magic medallion, plus the encouragement of headband, Ben is able to withstand this pressure. But just when it seems that he has won the battle, Ben finds himself under arrest. <laughs> All right, now you're done for. Hold still. Through. Hold still. Give me that hand. Get him on. You're under arrest. For what? You might say we're the drug squad. You don't have any drugs. Exactly. That's why you're under arrest. Found in possession of no drugs! <laughs> <laughs> That's a crime in Drug City! <laughs> oh, get him up! For the prosecution, <coughs> read the accusation. I object. Order, order, order! Counsel for the prosecution, read the accusation. <coughs> if you please. Yes, you're right.
Have you ever seen this before? Yes. Did you ever knowingly or not knowingly use this device to spread the truth about drugs? Yes, I did. And did you or did you not knowingly use this device to see through false advertising about drugs? Yes, again. <laughs> did you or did you not knowingly use this device to give you the confidence to resist the pressure to use drugs? Yes. Yes, 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 to all three. And how can you say you're not guilty? Because I refuse to feel guilty about saying no to drugs. I have the right to say no to drugs. No, you don't! You're just a kid. Kids their age don't have any rights. I do so have rights. Everybody has rights. Rights to what? To life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> you don't have to pursue happiness. You don't have to run after it. Why make life so difficult? When you're going to have happiness straight out of a box. All right, do it. In lots of other ways. Yes, lots and lots and lots. That's a lot. You do have to pursue happiness. You do have to work for it. What evidence do you have for that? I'd like to call my first witness. Ah, ha, ha, ha. You don't have a witness. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Me. Uh, objection. You can't call on your. Yes, I can. In fact, I'm the most important person I can call on. Yeah! Happiness is when I'm getting better at doing something. Happiness is when I'm stretching myself to the limit. Happiness is when I'm reaching as high as I can. Bah! <laughs> you, you can get high from us without any effort at all. But that high doesn't last. You feel good for a little bit, but then you feel really bad afterwards. Objection! You have no evidence for that. I have four other witnesses. Ah, let's see these witnesses. Bobby, Sue, Tony, Kevin. Put him in his place! Restrain him. Get that gag. You think you're so clever, don't you? I won't help you in this course. You're still just a little twerp. <laughs> just a silly, wimpy little kid. <laughs> you still can't say no to us. Can you? <laughs> can you? <laughs> Have you anything to declare before I pass sentence? Yes, I do have something to declare. I declare that I don't want anything to do with drugs. No! What? What are you saying? I'm saying that I can and will and I shall. Yeah! Straight out! You've done it! Yeah! You've destroyed Drug City! Way to go! <laughs> Thanks to you and to these. Oh, you be needing any of these anymore. Now that you have your own vision, your own knowledge, and your own power to say no. What is this medallion, anyway? Well, that's your own self-image. Like what you see? Yeah! Straight up!
Well, you're on your own now. Good luck. You don't need this. Nor do you. Or you. Hey, 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 wait a minute, man. What do you think you're doing? I told you. You don't need this stuff. What do you mean? It's great. Don't you like to get high? Don't you, don't you like feeling good? Not if it's going to make me feel bad afterwards. Get a hangover, feel sick, and look like you. What goes up must come down, right? Not always. If getting high is getting happy, then there are two sorts of happiness. The real thing that comes from inside you, and artificial happiness that comes from outside you from doing drugs. Real inside happiness is when you feel good about doing something that takes a lot of effort. Winning a race or scoring a goal. Playing the guitar. Building a tree house. Or acting in a play. Or getting good grades. And that's a high that doesn't make you feel low afterwards. Your body produces its own supply of highs that don't have any bad effects. But it's just the opposite with drugs. They make you feel good at first, but sooner or later, you start to feel sick. Everything turns sour. But there's even worse news to come. Pumping these artificial highs into yourself stops your body from producing its own natural highs. And the news gets worse still. Because if you start off with, say, this amount of drugs to make you happy, the amount of unhappiness this will lead to by giving you a hangover or making you sick will always be greater. So pretty soon, you'll have to start taking more drugs. And that will lead to more unhappiness which will lead to more drugs, and so on and so on. The only way to put a stop to all this is to kick the habit altogether and rely on your own inside happiness, the highs that never turn into lows. That's why I say no to drugs. Tony, what do you say? Robbie? You say no. Kevin. I see you're all a bunch of sissies. And I can still do anything better than you. Still take drugs. Watch this. Elevator up. 
close the gate. This is the ride that will decide your fate. 